Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. And boy, do we have a powerful setup on the way. Here are my uh, bullet points. So we've got this active pattern from 1130 through about 128. Now nestled in there is this west-northwest flow potential. And that bottom line tends to maximize some snow and, and the way that a lot of these ranges are oriented, like the Tetons, the Wasatch, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. I'll dive into that a little bit more coming up. But you can see the timeline for Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Pretty similar, 12-1 through 12-4. That's when the bulk of that snow comes through. And then potentially there's a second wave or second storm system, 12-7, 8, 9, and 10. So there's a lot on the horizon here. Let me take you into um, water vapor satellite imagery. So with this, your oranges and reds are your drier air aloft. I went ahead and marked the features. The moisture aloft is the whites and the blues. So there's a little area of low pressure that is uh, down here tracking through the southern tier. That's helping to break down this little ridge of high pressure we have and really set the stage for this active pattern. A little bit of activity over Hawaii, and that's all riding this southern branch. Northern branch is, is energizing. You've got two big storm systems up here, and both will play a role in what we see in the eventual northwest flow pattern that takes shape. All right, here's the way this plays out. This is the forecast radar and satellite. So by this afternoon, this evening, again, high pressure waiting on it. There comes that little area of low pressure across the southern tier by 1130. Um, at 6 in the morning through Arizona and New Mexico, again, really undercutting the ridge. But look to the Pacific Northwest. Here comes the next storm system. And what's interesting is, by the time we get into 12-1, um, a couple of things have come together. Energy off the northern branch and energy off the southern branch combining, and you can see the, the snow. Now, by the time we get into Friday night, watch what happens. Boom. This is when the Pacific, uh, this is when that west-northwest Pacific flow really sets up. And you can see the packets of energy hitting the Tetons, the Wasatch, the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Those are the areas that are going to get nailed downstream. Upstream, the Pacific Northwest and BC are going to get some very heavy snowfall. So let's march into the future. Here we are on Saturday 12, 2 at 6 in the morning. You can see the flow hitting those mountains, creating that lift, and we're getting that snow. 12-2. It just continues all the way through that night. And it's still there Sunday morning at 6, still there Sunday evening at 4, and then it starts to uh, taper off on Monday morning. But we're talking potentially 24 hours worth of that west-northwest flow in some of those preferred areas. That's why I think some of the totals will be so impressive. Let me show you what the jet looks like. So this is um, phase 1, 11-30. Um, the jet, you can see there's that, that, little, uh, that little wave, that little low pressure sliding through Arizona and New Mexico, helping to set all this up. And then here we go. By 12-2, we're in it. And you can see that. Look at that jet orientation out of the west-northwest. And it's not just at that level, which is sometimes, you know, sometimes you just see it at jet stream level, but it doesn't actually, it's not stacked all the way down to ridgetop level. But with this, it's stacked all the way down, that same flow, to about 10,000 feet. So it's solid. Here's the, uh, the final phase. This is 12-8. Last storm system. You can see the short wave coming through the Pacific Northwest. will eventually slide down through um, the Intermountain West with one additional shot of snow down the road. So there's a lot here. Look at this. The meat of the forecast here, 1129 through 12 -4. Most of this happens 12-1 through 12-4. Um, a couple of feet in the Tetons. One to three feet for the Wasatch, with most of that being in Little Cottonwood. We'll probably see two feet in Big Cottonwood and about a foot, foot and a half through Park City and Deer Valley. In Colorado, it's the central and northern mountains that will benefit the most, with most of that one to two feet falling snow mass, Aspen, Crested Butte, Steamboat, and Vail, um, with probably a foot, foot and a half through Cameron Pass, and about a foot for Loveland, Warner Park, A Basin, Summit County, in Eldora. Big snow up in central Idaho through Brundage and probably one to three feet or maybe even a four footer there through Mount Bachelor. That area just receives wave after wave of moisture. All right, um, so within that category, I want to show you this. This is my forecast snow plume and I start to pull these out once we start getting big storm system. Uh, there's a lot of agreement on the Teton. So I went with Jackson Hole and you can see through 12-1 through 12, you know, 4, a couple of feet of snow, accumulation over time, and then one more hit of snow around 12-8, 12-9 with potentially 3 to 6, somewhere in there. All right, let me take you one more phase. So this is 12-5 through 12-8. This is the final storm for that cycle that comes through, coming out of the Pacific Northwest, and then it will sweep down through the interior with another two to six inches of accumulation, potentially. Um, so one more. Let me take you up to the northeast. 
So this is 1130 through 125. There are two different waves that come through. Neither one closes off as a true nor'easter as it looks right now. So we're just looking at probably 4 to 12 inches for Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine at that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this. I'll probably do additional updates, maybe one more today, certainly a couple tomorrow as this event comes uh, more into focus because when we start talking totals like this, it's game on for sure. All right, guys, take care, and always appreciate you tuning in here.